Hello everybody and welcome. We're playing Foundation. Boom. It's like a it's like a medieval town building game. Perfect. Yeah, we, we know what we're doing. We're we're pros at games. And you build yourself a little town in this lush new environment. Um we can start off here, here, or here. Uh I think we're going to go here. Why not? Um, so, oh yeah, we need like a village center. Sure. That, that sounds like a thing. Um, build. Village center. Uh, where do we want it? Do you want it in like the center? So, um, this game is super early access. Uh, the devs like let us have some access, early access to it. And uh, we're here. We're, we're, we're playing the game. Um, do you want to just like slap bang in the middle? Sure. Boom. Uh, so yeah, pretty early, pretty, pretty like full of full of bugs, problems, things like that. But um, it's it's pretty good actually. I'm, I've been playing a bit of it, and man, I like it. So you've got to, you've got to kind of like start out by getting all your basic like resources and, and, and shit like that. Bam, we've got some people. Jane, 25 years old. She's not very happy. You're gonna be a builder, Jane, and uh, and Antoine. Antoine, you can be a, a builder too. And Kunigund, is that my name? That's a lady's name, apparently. You can also be a builder. And then the other people will just like, we'll have a gatherer, a stone cutter, transporter, we don't really need a transporter, a woodcutter, and a market person. Bam. So uh, one of the things with this game is that I, I'm a big fan of, and you'll see kind of like begin to unravel is that there's no extraction zone. Shit. Right, okay. Extraction zone for the woodcutter. So you've got to like paint on your areas. So we need to extract this stuff and the immediate woods by there. And maybe we'll just like clear out all of these woods too. How's that look? Oh, and we need the stone. Okay, we're extracting. Uh, and it plays that really crazy noise, which I do kind of like, but it is weird. Um, and we need to say where we want houses to be. Uh, so, I guess, like, houses just around this bit for now. Oh, shit. Bam. So they're going to build everything. We've got a few resources. We've got some woodcutters cutting some wood uh, over here. Who's the woodcutter? It's Emily. Bam. Emily the lumberjack. Uh, what a pro. Over here, Cloud the stonecutter. He's getting some stone. So hopefully we will get enough stone to have a well. Um, what, what Wally Bold is here gathering mushrooms for everyone. Gunther, ah, oh, oh, Gunther's shop of wonders. Gunther's in there, just selling away. He's kind of ignoring everyone and now he's gone. Thanks Gunther. So yeah, we've got like, we've got like sort of like the basics of the town together. This should be everything that everyone needs. Rewards, reach a weekly profit of 500 bucks, man. Okay, how much is a new territory? It is 500 bucks to buy a new territory. Oh, pow, four new buildings unlocked. Your villagers reach the new status. Surf, because we've completed building a well. Okay, right, we don't need new territories. What are the new buildings that we want? So we can make a sheep farm, a weaver's hut, a clothes market, and a wooden gate. Oh, and the first house is here. So we're gonna want more houses straight away. That's definitely a thing. Um, and we're gonna need like sheep farms and stuff because that's how this game works. Um, and maybe like a, a lumberjack? Not a lumberjack, the woodcutter. The other one, what are we, what are we thinking of? Sawmill, okay. Um, and maybe we want like the sawmill kind of close to, uh, to, the, to like the lumber camp. I think like over here, this is like the wood district. I think there's a certain logic there. And, yeah, that all seems to be good. People are semi-happy. They've got berries available and they've got water. Um, I think people will be a bit sad because they don't have houses, but, you know, we'll just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh, let them let them have houses when they can. So we unlock more stuff by getting more people moving in. So we need 12 serfs. At the moment, we don't. We only have eight serfs. But people will be moving in as long as everyone's happy. And 
the town grows, uh, which everything should be going like fine enough. Um, we probably need more houses. So you can see like different areas are more desirable. Being in like the center of town is always more desirable. So we'll just kind of like lump stuff around here. Later on we can like beautify it, but early on we just need just need people people coming in. Um, not living by industry is usually like a good thing. Uh, I assume I don't know. I, I think it's the way it, the way it works. Bam! But they're building houses. So yeah, like you can see kind of like look how the little parts like all like organically organically like make themselves. I really, really like that. I think that's a really cool a cool feature. You don't actually place your houses, they just sort of like organically kind of like build up around the place. Like we can come in and we can demolish people's houses, but um we don't we don't need to do that yet. Um we just need to kinda of like wait for some more people to move in. Pow! Two more people are on their way. Right. So people don't have jobs, so we can actually start getting some, some new jobs. Ooh, and now we have a new building. Ah, the Lord Manor House. Perfect. So this is like, this is kind of like the coolest thing that you can do. Um, but we need some other stuff. Okay, right, so the carpenter's building, that's completed. And we're going to tell two people to work there, because that starts making planks. And when we start making planks, we can then unlock a trade route with Davenport, who are uh, these guys, and we can get some resources and stuff. Um, and as soon as we get a bit of trade, then we can start getting like more, more things because we need kind of, we need tools. We don't have tools at the moment. We only have, only have a few. Uh, and we're gonna need to get a, what's it called? A warehouse. Um, where do you want the warehouse? Like slap bang in the middle of the camp? Like here? That seems good. This is kind of like our industrial sector. And over here will be like the fancier part of town, I guess. It's like a little hill. Then we could go right up onto this like mega hill if we wanted. Which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but we don't we don't need to go up there yet. I think I think we're doing okay. So more and more people are coming along, which is great. We're slowly like expanding. 14 people. We've got some jobs that aren't being done, so maybe. We even start getting like, like a sheep's hut down here, and then oh, although a sheep farm that requires like all of our all of our tools, and we we can't make tools. We have to trade, trade for tools. But that's that's going to be okay. Also, we might actually need more gatherers as we're running low on on berries right there, uh, and people get really really sad if they don't have berries to eat every day. We don't really have a name for this town yet. I don't know. It's kind of like a... It's a pretty nice little place. Happy Valley Sunshine Town. Man, it's like a big area. Like, how far do these people have to walk? They have to go miles. Where, where do they go from there? Oh, do they come through like a cave? Cave people. And people are kind of still moving in. I like our little like town center type area. That's all quite good fun. Uh, so something you can you can play around with is like we can put like little stone walls around the place. Uh, okay, so someone actually they actually use like that as a path. But you know we can just like just decorate. Have some have some little areas. We could put some like little trees and stuff in there. Maybe turn this into oh god, no, that's part of the, the quarry. Um so we can't really wall that off. But you know, just just put like a little a little bit of decoration around the place. We haven't actually unlocked any of the like beautification stuff. But soon we will. And when we do, my god, it'll be amazing. And we can even actually even get like large walls. Um if we wanted to. Like, look at these guys. Uh, we kind of need like an entrance. But we could wall off our whole like town just straight away. Do you want like a big like hex? No, we can almost afford like another hex. Do we want to just like go straight in on like another hex? 
Maybe. Well, we've got like the start of like a wall. That's fine. That's that's all okay. And one thing that we need to check. Oh God, right. We built a house. Oh, they built the sheep farm. Okay. Theodric, you're now a shepherd. Go get him, Theodric. Oh, and something you can do is, so you have your little sheep farm down here, and Theodric, he's just kind of like chilling out, and you can spawn a sheep. Because I, I don't know if you actually need the sheep to uh, make make it work. But you can spawn multiple sheep. And if you keep doing it, then the game starts to complain. Think about the neighbors, that smell. Don't go complain to the devs if the game crashes. They'll ask, how many sheep did you spawn? If they do, don't answer! <laughs> Are you trying to see if there's a black sheep? Because there isn't. Oh my god. Have fun overpopulating the land of the sheep. So I think I think we've kept out. But that is a lot of fucking sheep right now. That's almost like some kind of terrible sheep plague. Oh no. Um, so one of the things I wanted to check was... Right, you've got you to find out where iron ore is for later. So we want to start building in that direction. So we've got we've got some iron ore over there. Is there any around here? Because I do kind of want the, the mega mountain, but... Oh, there's some down here. Some over there. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to need to kind of like come in this sort of direction. Um, okay, see it. Oh, and also fertility. I think basically anywhere that doesn't have trees is fertile. Residential, that is still pretty, pretty bland right now. Um, and get rid of that. So we're gonna do um, territory. Get a new plot of land. Buy this land. We did it. 500 bucks. We can now expand out in this sort of direction. Because as we slowly grow, we're gonna need more of like all of the basic stuff. Um, so buildings do cost gold and we did just spend all of our gold in one go. Man, that like sheep blight. Maybe we need to give them some fences as that's a lot of, that's a lot of damn sheep. We can have like sheep farms over by here. I think that's okay. Um, and man, look at our wonky, wonky wall. No good. Um, what are we spending all of our money on? Holy shit. Oh, I think it's because we spent 500 bucks on um, land. And uh, I guess we didn't even really need the land. That wasn't super important. 20 bucks for a gatherer's camp. We're gonna have a new gatherer's camp right down here. And how many logs? Oh shit, okay, right. We've got we've got a metric shit ton of logs. So we're going to BAM! Unlock trading. And what are these guys guys after? They want berries, they want logs, they want stone. Well, planks, really. We're refining the logs into planks. So we can start selling. Selling some of those and buying some of these. Because we really do need. We do really need tools. Because without tools, we can't, we can't do anything. Okay, and we've got some gatherers working there. And gatherers working there, pal. Because food, the food is great. Um, everyone wants berries, and everyone gets berries from mushroom patches. That's how it works. That's science. <laughs> uh, remember, super early access. Do you want like another one of those? Because we can even sell those things. And we've got jobs. So we're going to need to get a, like, because we can even, like, bust these guys down. A Lord Manor. Um, and... This is kind of, like, the best part of the game. Or, like, one of the most fun things. So we'll, let's say we'll have, like, the main manor house by this sort of area. And so you build it in sort of, like, sections. So, boom. This is going to be Castle Clarkenstein. This is my, my manor house. Uh, and... I'm gonna start out like that, but we can kind of like make it taller if we wanted to. Um, you can kind of could make it a mega skyscraper, but it does increase the cost of. Oh god, are we gonna? Okay, that's probably about the highest you can go. Oh, just the, like the sad, the sad manner noise. Ooh. Um, but you know, we want it to be kind of big because it increases like our rep. And I want a lot of rep, you know, I want all the other lords to know that I'm like a cool a cool guy. Um, and so then we can just keep like adding, adding little bits on, like this. So now it looks like a, a kind of like a sad, big headed dog, maybe. 
Maybe. Uh, we could put like a little door on it. Which way around does the door go? This way? Perfect. Did that work? It's kind of like a bit like smushed in there. Maybe just like that. Sure. And we could even put like the extension like there. Oh, okay. I kind of like that. Because we can have two extensions. Both of them like that. So it's like kind of like little little extra rooms. Um, chimney. Do you want a chimney? Sure. Oh. Wait, no. And can I can I make my chimney taller? I don't know if I can. Oh, and we can actually just move the whole thing, which is handy. Okay, sure. It's kind of tall, but kind of cool. I'm into that. Uh, what else do we want? Banners? Of course we do. Although we'll get to banners in a second. Ah, oh, decorative trees? That's a thing. Treasuries. Okay, we definitely need treasuries. Uh, where are we going to put treasuries? Like, on the side? Like, the side is kind of cool. We're making this building very expensive. And these can be, like, really tall. Uh, and... Maybe, like, two treasuries? Okay, right, basically all of our wealth is going to be spent on making this building... Building a thing. And actually, let's get some more doors in here. Like, you know, because we want, like, side entrances into Castle Clarkenstein. Like this. There we go. We could add, like, another core onto it. Okay, right. That. This is, I think this is, like, a good... A good start. Um, we do get fountains. Man, this whoever lives here, they are they are gonna get their house demolished, and maybe even they will too. You don't build near near my damn house. Uh, what else? Like a fountain? Do you want like fountains? Fountains, kind of cool, but maybe we want to save those for like somewhere else. So yeah, you know what? I think we're just going to say start. It's going to cost 141 stone, uh, which we're not far off. 45 tools, which we have none of. Jeez. Bam. Go for it. Right. Residential. Stay away from my manor house. Um, you guys up here, you're okay. I might have to demolish your house for my the grounds. But down here, if you want to build down around here, perfect. Actually, maybe not even that close. Just give me, just give me some space. I don't want like all the filthy peasants hanging around. Uh, not Castle Clarkenstein, or you know, if they want to have like an uprising later on, you know, I'm I'm all about you know having all the peasants come along with their flaming torches and like pitchforks. That's okay. Just don't bother me on a day to day basis. You are definitely having your house demolished as well. Did I did I not just like? Oh, they're really, like, they are super exploiting that bit of, bit of greenery. Not so sure about that. Okay. How's trade? Trade going. Oh, right. Maybe because I said these guys weren't allowed to accept those resources. That's probably, probably why. Well, these guys, for now, because we only have one, they can just accept everything. Perfect, because I think like some of the, our buildings even like cap out um, if we have too much stuff. These guys, they're a nightmare. Uh, you know what? Let's get some fences in. Um, I thought I saw... Yeah, there is a black sheep. They lied. <gasps> Man, can really like one shepherd like look after, look after all of these sheep? Okay, try and keep them inside, Theodric. It's Theodric, right? Okay, we've got 30 people living here, and the manor house is really coming along. It's looking great. What do we need? Okay, so we have started importing tools. Perfect. Uh, and... Right. We do need to get some other stuff. But right now, all of our tools, thousands of tools, are being used to build the manor house. Uh, but we want to make, like... Get, like, a clothes market. I think, like, getting it in the center... That seems like a good idea. 
and we need like a weavers. Uh, that could be over by here. Where's the main entrance? By there. Sure. Like, have the weavers by the sheep place farm. Wow, we've got so many people that don't have jobs. We we should be like expanding more uh, rather than getting distracted by building ridiculously expensive places to live. Uh, you, bam, you're fired. Uh, you, fired. You, fired. And residential. Look at him, he's just like stood where his house was, just like shaking in anger. Just like looking at the manor house. You bastard. Oh, oh he's over it. <laughs> uh, he's done. So yeah, we kind of want to get like some cool walls around around here. So I want I want this to be like a really a really cool like sort of happening place. The the manor. With like its own grounds and stuff. Okay, that's like a good start. For you know, my manor house. Because we'll, we'll put like trees and have gardens and stuff around here. I think it'll all be pretty jazzy. 